Christmas or Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's to everyone. I am currently driving to Fellsmere here in Florida and we're gonna do some duck hunting today. I woke up at 2.30 in the morning. It is currently three in the morning. It was Christmas yesterday. I need some hot coffee. It is freezing cold. It's about 30 degrees outside and I got my little thermos. I'm gonna meet up with Lee in the marshes. He's got a skiff, he's got decoys and we're gonna take the skiff out into the marsh and we wanna be set up in our spot with our decoys is late at about 5 a.m. and then hopefully we'll be sitting there waiting as soon as the sun comes up and we'll be ready to do some duck hunting. I've never gone duck hunting so yeehaw! The 7-Elevens are all closed but Wawa was still open. Got my coffee and a super holiday cheer little cup. I got a second coffee down there that I just spilled on myself. I got a beautiful gas station sandwich. The best you can get now, let's get ourselves a fat, juicy duck. <laughs> oh, you can't really see anything. Got the skiff ready to go. All right, ready to get a duck. If it flies, it dies. <laughs> let's make them drop like rain. We paddle our skiff full of duck decoys about a mile out into the marsh and we drop our decoys. It's pitch black so you can't see anything, but don't worry, I already put in an order for a camera light. So if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, do it now because more hunting and fishing videos are gonna be coming every week. In this management area where we are hunting, you're allowed to shoot 30 minutes before the sunrise. And we start to hear other people shooting and the ducks are flying. So, and I will say it looks a lot darker on camera than it really is, but it's game on, time to hunt. I recorded our first shots on my GoPro, which doesn't do well in low light conditions, but when I zoom in and slow the footage down, you can see three ducks fly in and we drop two of them. I'm officially addicted to duck hunting. As the sun climbed higher, it revealed the true beauty of the marshlands. There's something about sitting in a skiff with a good friend waiting for a duck to fly by that just feels super nostalgic. And Lee's duck call got wet, so he sounded like a duck with severe issues. <coughs> Off in the distance are hundreds of coots. I am told these are not good eating, so we patiently wait for some ducks to fly into our shooting zone. We do miss some ducks. Oh, After all, this is my first time doing this. But Lee spots a teal duck that we call to, and it flies directly at us. Redemption for our missed shots. Well, we got some freaking ducks. We're about to go and claim our stakes. Maybe we'll get some more ducks, but there's some floating out there. As we make our way out of the tall grass to retrieve our ducks, some more fly right over our head. We take some rushed shots, which mostly were misses, but Lee does manage to hit a nice one. Oh, 
Dude, that was f***ing awesome! <laughs> this morning I told myself I would be happy to get just one duck. Lee and I are both very new to duck hunting and it's still a big learning process. But truth is, I couldn't be happier with how this hunt went. I learned a lot and I will always remember this morning. That's, that's a duck. Yeah, teal. Oh yeah. That's the old blue wing. Hen. We get all our decoys back in the skiff and head back to land. After spending a bit chatting about our experience and planning a second hunt the next morning, we head back to the house. Time to clean and cook some duck. It's almost 11 o'clock, almost back home. I did stop at Walmart because uh, Lee needed some more ammo and they don't have any ammo and we want to go hunting again tomorrow so I'm not sh sure what we're going to do about that. I'm going to try to find some ammo. And I'm gonna go home right now, clean those ducks, and then we're gonna do a little duck catch and cook. We're going duck hunting again tomorrow, but that'll be another video. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and that like button so you can watch the next duck hunting video. But now, let's go clean some ducks and cook some ducks. Yeehaw! Man, what a freaking... That was beautiful, duck hunting. I... It might be like one of my new things. I'm gonna have to do some more duck hunting. That was so much fun. Woo! Woo! Out in the middle of the marshland, the beautiful marshlands and the quacking of ducks flying over your head. Oh man! I have never cleaned a duck before, but uh, he's ready. I just watched maybe four or five YouTube videos on how to clean a duck. <laughs> I will try to teach you how to clean a duck with having zero idea how to clean a duck. We can learn this together. But once I clean the duck, I'm gonna take the breast out of it. I might take the legs off of it. Then I'm gonna put those in a Ziploc bag and put some olive oil in there and let them marinate for a day. I got my knife here. It's my old knife. Extremely sharp. So you can feel the sternum bone here in the center. And then where the sternum bone ends, down here it's a little softer. So I wanna pluck some of those feathers. And this exposes the uh, their skin. I want to just give it a little nick. It looked a lot easier in the videos I watched. Oh, there we go. Once it gets going, it's easier. Now we're making some progress. Whew. All right. Well, I'm just going to keep on peeling this skin away until the whole breastbone or the breast is exposed. The breast meat. Man, I don't know what I'm talking about. All right. I basically just plucked all the feathers to expose the breast meat. And I'll just go ahead and cut the breast out. There's two breasts on one, on that side and on the other side.
Well, there we have it. One breast. Oh, ho, ho, yeah. Now I'm gonna remove one of the legs. Put that in the bag. Now for the leg, I think you cut it off right here. Hey, my hey baby. Is this filming? Yeah, but it's fine. It's okay. Yeah, just, you know, cleaning it, cleaning a duck. Oop, just cleaning a duck. Looks pretty delicious though. Yeah, yay baby, I'm so happy for you. It was so fun. Uh, really? Are you well, gonna go tomorrow? Yeah. I figured, good stuff. Check it out. Oh yeah. <laughs> we got that meat. Yeah, look at all that. Put that in the bag. All right, I got the ducks cleaned. I got four nice breasts in there and four legs. I'm gonna go wash them off and then we're gonna soak them in some olive oil. I didn't get any feathers and any blood off of there. That's a good looking, good looking. Bam, come look at these. Beautiful breasts and the legs. I washed them off, got all the blood off, got the um, feathers off of them, and now, and I dried them off. And now I'm gonna put them in a bag, in a fresh, clean bag. Toss them all in there. Okay, duck is, has no fat. Duck is a very lean, gamey meat. So, what we're gonna do is take some olive oil, a nice fatty oil, and just kind of drench them. And I'm also gonna take a little bit of apple juice. I think it sweetens the meat just a tiny bit and it removes a lot of gaminess. Not much. Oh yeah, and then we're just gonna mix it up nicely. We'll close the bag and put it in the fridge. And then tomorrow, they will be ready to eat. Yeah! It's looking good in there. We are in the kitchen. Let there be light. If that did anything. No, that didn't do anything. <laughs> Um, this is my first time cooking duck. This will be interesting. I got one recipe I'm gonna try today and then I got another duck hunting video coming out and we'll try a second different recipe. But this is what we're gonna do. I got some water here heating up. You don't want it to boil. We just want some warm water. I'm gonna put these two in here because we're gonna end up putting the duck in there and we don't want the duck to touch the bottom. So that'll keep them off the bottom. Let's get a fresh bag. This right here is the duck. It's been marinating for two days now, actually. We were a little behind schedule. I'm gonna take it out and put it in our new clean bag. This is ham. We're gonna close our bag. Well, actually, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put, come, come watch this. We're gonna put the bag in the water, which is gonna push all the air out of it. I'm gonna put the whole bag underwater, except for the tip. I'll zip it up. And now you have an airtight bag. Kind of like vacuum sealed. You could vacuum seal it, but this is the cheaper way to do it. Mm -hmm. And then we're just gonna leave it submerged just like that in the water. And you want this water around 150, 160 degrees. You never want it to boil. We're gonna let that sit for about an hour or two, and what that's gonna do is cook the meat a little bit and tenderize it, and then we're gonna throw it on the grill real quick to get a char on it, finish cooking it, and yeah. So I'll see you in two hours. Kazam, it's been two hours. I got some sweet ma or I got some sweet potato mashed potato. Sweet mashed. I got some sweet mashed potatoes that I made. We got some asparagus on the grill and we're about to throw the duck on the grill and it actually smells like duck who would have thought for christmas every year we eat goose goose and duck so i'm used to eating duck what about you caitlin no caitlin doesn't eat goose or duck but and it smells exactly how all the duck has ever tasted so um it's not fully cooked but it kind of is do you see it in there mm -hmm. booyah so we're gonna take them out um they're probably hot 
After burning my finger, we got some tongs now. You know, they would probably taste great just eating them like this, but I wanna add a little bit of a char to them. Let's pep them up with these ingredients. We're gonna put a little bit of salt on them. I'll go ahead and sprinkle some salt. We got this complete seasoning. I think it's just a blend of herbs. And I'll just very lightly put those on. You don't want to overdo it with the herbs. And we're only going to do one side of that. And then we got our cayenne to give it a little kick, just a tiny bit. You don't want to overdo that either. And of course, last but not least, a little bit of black pepper. Let's go outside. I got a Traeger and it only gets about 400 degrees. To char them, you kind of want some higher temperature, but we don't have a normal grill, so we're just gonna make do here. Let's do it. The hottest part of a Traeger is this outer edge because the flames kind of come up here. It's not protected by the heat plate. So I'm just gonna put these here. We're only gonna do about two minutes, if that, maybe one minute on each side. I hope these little legs don't fall through. We're gonna take the asparagus off. That looks done. I'll let those cook a minute and a half. We'll flip them and then it's time to eat them. It's only been three minutes, but I'm taking them off because the Traeger is just not that hot and they can't get that hot. So there's no point in drying our meat out. So we'll take them off. Wish we had some light in here. Mm -hmm. Boom. You want to get a close-up of these guys? Oh, yeah. All right, so I'll put two of them on here. Here's my sweet, oh, sweet mashed potatoes. You want to flop it on? Gives it a nice texture. Yeah, it makes a difference. It does. Boom, just like that. Go ahead and add some asparagus to the plate. If you have never had the Publix Cranberry Orange Relish, this stuff is amazing. They only sell it during the holidays, so load up on it. I'm gonna take a bit of that. I'm actually gonna put it on top of the duck. And then I love orange with my duck. Look, look at you, so fancy. Orange slice here. And a little bit of orange. Just wanna drizzle it on top just lightly. Boom! We got our little studio lights here because our kitchen's so dark on camera. But there we go. Ooh, it's still steaming because it's hot. <laughs> Look at the reds and the oranges and... <clears throat> Should we cut into one? Yeah. Let's see how it looks. Because uh, the only thing really that matters here is the, ch the, the duck. Let's be real. That's the only thing that matters. So I'm going to remove some of this cranberry sauce off of it. Cut it right in half and see how it is. Okay, it's overcooked. All right, well, it's supposed to be a little pink in the middle. Mm. That's okay. Let's see how it tastes. I mean, some people like it overcooked like this, but I like my stuff medium rare. Well done, duck. <laughs> Never cook your wild game well done. I did it on accident. <laughs> Let me try the duck without any cranberry on it. It's really good with the cranberry. Okay, no cranberry. <clears throat> Here, why don't I just grab one of these little legs? See that? Yeah. Mmm. Yeah? Mm, you know, the, the legs are actually, well, for some reason, not as well done. Yeah, they're hmm. juicier. Oh my gosh. Duck hunting is not only extremely fun, but extremely delicious. Mm. Oh yeah, one thing I noticed when I was cleaning the duck, like when you clean a deer or a hog, it kind of has that meat flavor or smell that lingers on your hand for a half a day or a day. 
but Duck had absolutely no gaminess or anything. It was just, it was, it was wonderful. Look how delightful this is. The cranberry sauce makes it extremely good. Oops. And the orange flavor. It's a very holiday seasoned food. Mm. All right, I will give this dish a freaking nine out of 10. If it wasn't overcooked, would have been that 10 probably. But um, I think another reason it got overcooked is because look how small these duck breasts are right. of the, and a lot of people up north hunting the big mallards and stuff, their, their pieces are much bigger. So I think I was following the wrong recipe. Uh, what the heck? Oh, he walked on a hot stove plate. Cats never learn. Thank you guys for watching. I got another duck hunting episode coming out and we're gonna cook the duck a different way. We're actually gonna keep the skin on it in that episode. Wait, do we even catch a duck that episode? Oh, I don't know. We'll see if we catch another duck or not, but I'll see you guys on the next episode. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And until next time, cheers.